Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're back at the Texas Ranch. It's a beautiful Friday morning here in West Texas, but I'm just now getting back to the property. I took the 06 Duramax with a utility trailer on over to a local farm because the farmer posted this for sale on the marketplace. It's an old uh, five foot cultivator, which we're gonna be using on the Kubota because today guys, you saw it in the title of the video, we are finally building a dirt track at the property. You guys know it. we do have dirt bikes, we do have quads, and we have side by sides, and we need a place to have a bit of fun our own back uh, playground at our property and that is what we're going to be working on here but really quickly guys I did pick up this new utility trailer here I traded in the old one this one was actually very similar pricing but our old one the frame actually bent in a few areas and we couldn't really use it anymore but overall pretty sweet I think first why don't we check up on a few things and then we'll get right to work uh, this is going to be a lot of work moving a lot of dirt we need jumps we need a really nice trail so we could just rip around in all the time like always guys there's a full mods list link down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. Driving the 06 Duramax the last few weeks guys has been pretty awesome here I've been really liking it but we do actually have a few things that have arrived here for us so I think we might get going on that first actually uh, because we had a toolbox and headache rack come I think that's probably going to finish the build here for us and that's also going to protect the back window if we do have anything like that so I'm going to get the trailer disconnected and we do need to get the toolbox wheeled on out of the barn and let's get to wrenching and it should be pretty uh, quick and easy uh, but I might need a hand uh, to put the toolbox in and bolt it on properly. Let's pull right in front here we have it and I will say guys I think I'm going to stop by one of the local shops and see if they could do a little bit of a repair on the driver's side seat here. It's starting to wear on out and I also would like a little bit more padding here but these off-road wheels and tires you guys can see look so sweet and those uh, do look pretty cool here but the toolbox should be right inside the barn and you guys know this is a pretty uh, jam-packed barn now. We have the boat, we have the toy hauler and we do have a Kubota there as well but where is the toolbox? Oh it's right here so we'll just wheel it on outside I really do like a tool chest on wheels I was thinking why don't we put cabinets and everything but these are just so easy you just wheel it right on out and you're good to go to get wrenching on the trucks just putting the last of the tools away. It actually didn't require too many, but here we have it, guys. We got the headache rack installed here. Actually, uh, we do have some extra turn signals, some extra lights up top there, and uh, that is pretty cool here, but look at the toolbox, guys. Usually, you see the toolbox where it hangs over the bed, but this is nice and clean. We'll be able to put chains, toe straps, anything we need on the inside there, and that is going to be a pretty sweet thing, but now it's time. Let's put the toolbox away. Let's hop in the Kubota, and I do want to get the cultivator off the trailer and then we need to head on back to our property we have right around 20 acres of land here so maybe even a full acre or two could be the uh, dirt track but we'll, we'll go over all the little things i want in it once we get on over there Let's get the Kubota fired on up here. Now, we do not want the uh, brush hog on the back there, but we do also uh, want to pick up the cultivator. But, guys, I've been really enjoying this series so far. It's been a neat add-on to the homeowner series, and we have been doing so many fun projects here as well. Hey, maybe we could have a few friends come and game. Help us on out. That would be a lot of fun here. But this Kubota, guys, is going to be uh, perfect here for us. But, oh, boy, look at that. I'm actually going to see if we can muscle this. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we can't really. Uh, the hydraulic. Like the three point it doesn't reach that high here so let's see if we could bring this maybe just kind of have it kind of almost fall off the side of the trailer might be the way to go let's move it right there oh yeah that should be good let's see if we get it attached perfect so there we have it guys we have the cultivator that this will be perfect so you guys know with dirt bikes atvs they create huge tire ruts and this is going to be perfect for leveling all that out have a nice smooth track every time we want to go out and rip around so with a dirt track, guys, I was actually looking at some professional dirt tracks. I really want a nice long straightaway uh, so we could get up to max speed. I, but I also want a few twists and turns there. That's a lot of fun leaning side to side on the dirt bike and everything like that here. So what I'm thinking, I really want that long stretch of uh, dirt to be right alongside the fence. I think that's probably the way to go. And then on the other side, we'll have some twists and turns. I do want a huge jump uh, that we could get 10, 15 feet of air. That would be a pretty sweet thing here. We are going to be taking out a few bushes but that's gonna be no problem here for the Kubota. 
What I'm thinking guys, since we are a bit limited, we are actually going to hop into the landscape tool. We're going to be using that to build a dirt track. And then we're going to take the Kubota and the tractor to smooth it on out. We're going to have rocks and clay that needs to be smoothed out. We definitely don't want uh, that to affect our uh, tr uh, trail at all. But I think having clay nice and smooth is probably going to be the way to go. Maybe in the areas we could add a gravel or even have a little bit of mud. That would be uh, pretty cool to rip on through. Well guys, after using the landscape tool for quite a long time, we have a pretty good shape. We just need to add a little bit more banking, but you guys can see we're running the Kubota over nice and smooth. And I think over time, guys, the track's going to get better and better. I don't think we could do it all overnight. And actually, that would be pretty cool to make improvements. That way, it changes it and gives us uh, kind of a new uh, uh, factor to the track every once in a while here. But you guys can see we have a jump and a little bit of banking, which I think is probably the way to start as well. Let's get used to tracks like this. Let's get good at ripping around fast, and then we could add all those cool things around. But you guys can see this cultivator is really making it nice and smooth here. So I'm going to finish on up and then we need to get some of the toys out to go ripping around on it. Oh man, guys, we've been on the Kubota for three, four hours working that dirt track. It's nice to get up off this seat, but hey, why don't we get started here with the quad? Something a little bit smaller. We won't go too fast as we are trying to learn it, but I think with the dirt bike, we are going to be able to really go full throttle. That doesn't really have too much uh, CC, and uh, it's probably a little bit easier as you can lean into the turns, especially on this here. But you guys can see we have a, do have a little bit of a twist and turn. Some S turns is what I usually like to call them. You guys can see, wow. Wow, even carrying a little bit of a speed here with a quad and going a little bit of banking. Oh yeah, boys, that is going to be pretty cool. Imagine the dirt bike right on the bottom line there, getting a little bit of air. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, I think now, why don't we hop on the dirt bike? Now guys, the dirt bike's covered in mud. Probably should pressure wash it off, but I've been ripping in this almost every day. Uh, the farmer has uh, quite a lot of open land that he has allowed me uh, to rip around on, which is extremely kind because it's kind of hard to find dirt tracks around. Uh, that is one thing I did notice here in Texas, but let's see what we could do. Nice, lean into the turn. Full throttle on it. Let's see if we get a little bit of air. Oh boy, guys, that is pretty cool. Now, with the dirt bike, guys, it is a little bit hard with how it leans in, especially here in Farmston, but I think the dirt bike on this is probably going to be the way to go for us. Well, guys, as I was ripping around on the dirt bike, our neighbor just called. The neighbor's a farmer right next door. He owns all the acreage between us and the silos. Uh, that's just how much land he owns, but he said he's on his way over to show us something pretty cool. Oh man, guys, what do we have here? Looks to be one of his farm trucks. Hi, neighbor. Oh, you're here to show us your F450? Yeah, it doesn't sound like a power stroke, though. I do know uh, this generation of power strokes were uh, known to have engine problems. Oh, this is a Cummins swap uh, Ford. That was what you're here to show us? Oh, that is awesome. Can you pop the hood and we could take a look? So how did you put the Cummins in? So you put the Cummins with the original transmission and everything? Oh, that is pretty cool. So let me guess, you really like the look of the Ford trucks, but you wanted the uh, Cummins uh, powertrain? Oh, that is pretty sweet here. Hey, why don't you come inside for a burger? Oh boy, guys, this is one pretty cool truck. So like I mentioned, we're talking with them. This is a Cummins inside of a Ford here. This is pretty rare, but hey, this uh, just gave me a thought. What if you guys would think of us buying a Ford and switching out uh, um, to maybe a Duramax, maybe a Cummins as well? That is a really cool idea here. I knew I heard something a little bit different than a Power Stroke as it was pulling in here, but I'm going to go have a nice burger with him. Just relax the rest of the day now. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.